Now that we know what music is, let us begin learning what our syllabus told us we would, the elements of music. We will break music into the three elements seen here, with many subcategories underneath each. This week we will concentrate on melody, perhaps the most accessible of the elements. Melody can be defined as a linear succession of musical tones such as la 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 or la 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 We can also use this definition much like the previous slides but giving us more information and introducing pitch, the highness or lowness of a note, and duration, the shortness or longness of a tone. Notes in a melody can only do one of three things. They can repeat themselves, la la la, move up or down by step, la 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 la, or move by skips or leaps. La, 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 la. Again, pause this presentation, go to the class homepage, and listen to the one note samba, noting the repeated notes at the beginning. Later on in the song, the melody moves by steps and small skips. But just note the repetitions at the beginning. Listen to the well-known Christmas carol, Joy to the World, on the class homepage. It opens with a melody of descending steps, then a leap, and then notes repeated twice and ascending by steps. Did you ever think you would be employing musical analysis of a Christmas carol? By now, you know the drill for how to get to the listening examples. Fanfare for the Common Man by the great American composer Aaron Copland, pictured in this video on the right with another great American composer, Leonard Bernstein, opens with majestic leaps. Listen to this famous composition several times, and note how this melody differs in contour from the previous melodies. Melodies are often written in the form of a phrase or a sentence or much like a question and an answer. For example, Happy birthday to you is the first phrase. Happy birthday to you, the second. Happy birthday, dear Ludwig, the third. Happy birthday to you. Now, listen to two famous characters known to us all sing Happy Birthday to You. As we saw in Happy Birthday, melodies are the element of music that show us musical form. Questions and answers, declarative sentences and responses. Form is how music is organized like a blueprint shows a builder how a building is to be put together. The form is like a mannequin on which a dress is hung. Notes in a melody are made up of musical pitches and pitches are created when something vibrates. The science of acoustics teaches us that the note A above middle C on a piano vibrates at 440 cycles per second. The A eight notes higher on a piano vibrates twice as fast at 880 cycles per second. The lowest note on a piano vibrates at around 25 cycles per second and the highest note at about 4,000 cycles per second. Notes are given letter names A through G and then they start over. This diagram shows a piano keyboard and the corresponding note named C through C. While this is not so important for our purposes, you should still know this 
to understand how music works. This famous scene from the movie The Sound of Music is used to teach the musical scale. Listen to it and think of the previous slide and the C scale. As you heard on the previous slide, melodies are made up of intervals. Repeated notes are called unisons. If you play any note on a piano and then play the neighboring note, whether white or black, you will have played a half step. If you play any note, skip its neighbor and play the next note, you will have played a whole step or a second. Going on from there, you can create thirds, fourths, and so on. Some intervals, like thirds and sixths, are considered consonant or pleasant sounding. Other intervals, like seconds or sevenths, are considered dissonant. Most people do not like to listen to dissonant music, and you would probably not use such music to help a patient relax or relieve pain. The loudness or softness or dynamics of music will also play a role in clinical settings. This is a chart of the most common symbols and Italian abbreviations used in music to indicate dynamics. Piano is soft, forte is loud. Music can grow louder or softer gradually, as you will notice in many of your listening examples. You should be aware of this as you listen also to music that is not in this class. As you listen to Ralph Stanley sing this conversation between a man and death, note the elements of the melody. Listen once to get a general feel, then again to note musical elements such as form and contour, then a third time to examine why this melody suits the text. You re may remember this song from the movie, O Brother, Where Art Thou? Here is another melody, a church chant from the Middle Ages. Again, listen three times. Many people find this style of music to be very relaxing, although we must be careful to use it in a therapeutic setting. If a person is estranged from the church and might remember this type of music from previous association, this music may bring about anger. Now listen to this piece for unaccompanied flute again three times. First for a general impression, next to think about the musical elements you hear, and third to examine how the song affects your emotions. <laughs> 